Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So today I've got my pups here in the background. Rooney, show yourself, buddy. Come here. Yeah, there's Rooney back there. And then Piper, she's over there watching. They're very attentive because today I'm talking about dog toys, in which I have some of them here with me, and they would very much like that. Right now, Rooney, he's laying his head on my lap. Um, <laughs> trying to get this. Just wait a couple minutes, buddy. This won't take too long. Um, but today I kind of want to talk about the best toys that I've found for um, Britney's, and that can cover a wide range of things. And so I'm going to kind of talk about a few of them. So first off, uh, I just kind of want to talk about three real quick things on why this is important to get a good toy for the dogs. Um, the first one is they Britney's are hard chewers. Just naturally, they are. Um, I've seen that with, with all examples of them. Lots of people in the comments will tell me, yeah, Rudy's getting here, <laughs> that um, their dogs are the same as mine. They pretty much will chew through any toy that you give them, any bone or anything. And so they, um, it's real important that you get something that's appropriate for them because, um, for example, Piper, she likes to, uh, she likes to bite clear through and she'll swallow the toy. So it's important to get, first of all, a really good, strong toy. Second of all, you need to get something that will benefit their teeth because, um, you know, like any dogs, Brittany's included, if they're not chewing on things, they don't, I mean, they don't brush their teeth like you and me. So if they're not chewing on things, then chances are their teeth are building up plaque and that's just not good for them. So chewing on bones and chewing on toys are actually something that really benefits them and it'll break down um, and kind of remove that plaque off their teeth. And so you need to have something that, uh, that they like to chew on and that they can chew on quite a bit throughout the day. And then the third thing, of course, is their exercise levels. So Brittany's um, and most dogs have a, need a lot of exercise. So you also want to get something that will benefit that, something that they can play with. Um, if you've got two dogs, something they can play with together or something that you can throw for them or tug with them. Um, that's something that'll definitely benefit. But let's kind of get into um, some of the things that cover those topics. Rooney, get down. He's like breathing like crazy. He really wants this. <laughs> He's Rooney. Goodness gracious, buddy. All right, the first thing I want to talk about is Kong toys. Yes, those are, I mean, it's probably one of the most popular brands. Um, <laughs> Rooney, give me that back. It's probably one of the most popular brands and it's popular for a reason because these are very durable. Um, there's lots of different products. They have tons of them. We have quite a few of their products and every single one of them, for the most part, we've been happy with. Now, they also have different levels of chewing. And so these, I think, are maybe, we've had this one for a while, but this is maybe the, um, the medium. There's like a high chewing, medium, and a low. We got the medium. Um, we probably could have gotten the, the, uh, the mm. high amount. <laughs> okay, I'll just give you it. <laughs> He's not happy. Um, <laughs> I have to get that here in a second, <laughs> but, um, I'll give you a close up on it. And they've had this pretty much since they were babies or since they were babies, since they were puppies. And that was two years ago. So it's held up really well. And this one in particular, you can put peanut butter and stuff in there. But this is great because it's very difficult for them to chew up and swallow, but it also is not hard on their teeth at all. It's not a really hard thing. I mean, it gives pretty decently. I can squeeze it with my hand and it, uh, it'll it give. And so Piper in particular loves to just kind of chew on this. It feels good on her teeth, on her gums, especially when the puppies are teething. This is something that kind of is, uh, it's good for them. It massages it, their gums and uh, teeth keeps them from being, uh, you know, pretty sore and stuff. So I definitely recommend this, and they've got a huge line of different products. Um, and so, yeah, it's popular for a good reason, I suppose. The next one I kind of want to talk about, which Rooney has, let me go get that real quick, and then uh, then we'll talk about that. Okay, I couldn't manage to get the the, uh, the bone from him, but here's another tip. If you're going to get a toy, get two of them. If you've got two dogs, that's why I got two of them. That way they're not jealous of each other, but this one was not being used at the moment. So another one is another really popular brand. Um, you'll find this pretty much anywhere is Nylabone. And these are a little bit different from the Kong. They specialize, I mean, they have a wide range of products, but they specialize mostly on these kind of hard plastic chewing bones. And some of their products um, aren't the best, I don't think. I mean, they've got a pretty high standard, but some of them we've had uh, the dogs kind of chew them up and it's not something that you want to have them ingest. So you want something that's pretty tough, 
but also something that's not going to hurt their teeth too much. And we found that this is definitely the best one, this ring shaped one. And they've had this for a long time and you can see they've just kind of gnawed it, <laughs> gnawed it down a little bit. But what's nice about this is um, because it's a ring shape, they can kind of put their paw in there and balance it for themselves. That way it's not in an awkward position that could kind of cut their gums. Um, but it's got lots of grooves in here and different things that they can kind of gnaw on and um, it's not going to rip apart, which is really nice. So I prefer something with grooves and stuff like this um, as opposed to just a flat one that they offer. But this is definitely something that works for hard chewers. Um, this has lasted quite a while and I think it'll, it'll keep going for a while too. So we've had two of these and they still haven't gotten all the way through it. So hold on, Pip. Here you go. Piper, you can have one too. She doesn't want it. She wants the one that Rooney has. <laughs> and kind of the last of uh, their favorite toys is a really simple one. It's a super cheap one too. It's tennis balls. And this is what we use mostly for when we throw a ball with them, when we play catch. Um, they love it. I mean, Brittany's, they're, they're naturally, you know, they're, they're hunting dogs. So they naturally are pretty good at retrieving and catching. Um, especially if you kind of train them with it earlier. Um, one of our dogs, Rooney, he, we play ball with him all the time. So he's amazing at it. Piper, she's just now getting there, but they both absolutely love it. And tennis balls are super nice because when you're throwing them, they don't hurt their teeth. And so that's something you got to watch out for is because if you, if it gets going too fast, then it can, you know, it could chip their tooth. It could knock it loose. It's not something you want. And tennis balls are something that are really soft, but they're also chewy um, and durable that they're not going to um, kind of break it apart and they're not going to hurt their teeth when they're carrying it or biting it. And so you can also throw them really far, which is nice too. And um, <laughs> they bounce off of things a little bit better than other balls, which uh, you can't see it back there, but at one point in time, there was a vase back there that I broke thrown to the dogs. Uh, yeah, my wife wasn't too happy about that, but, but you know, if it's for the dogs, then eh, who cares if they were happy about it? But um, tennis balls, I keep a ton of them on stock. I mean, we've got a whole big cage, as you can see in the thumbnail of this video. <laughs> There's a whole cage of uh, uh, tennis balls and stuff that we use, and we go through them pretty often. The only thing you have to watch with a tennis ball is, because they're fuzzy, um, you don't want them to sit there and chew on it and pick that fuzz off. Piper, she likes to pick the fuzz off and eat it. So if they're doing that, just kind of watch and make sure. Um, but, you know, with any toy, all dogs need somewhat supervision. We rarely will leave them all day with, with one of these toys. If we are gonna leave them with one, it's usually something harder and more difficult for them to chip off and break. Like we wouldn't really leave them with this Kong toy because by chance they might break it apart and swallow this, it would not be good. So usually the, the tougher nylon bones are something that we leave them with if we're gonna put them in, in, their, uh, in their cage all day. Um, but pretty rarely are they um, kind of unsupervised with, with the toys just in case. Um, but hopefully that helps you all out and feel free to put any suggestions in um in the comments i mean we've we've gone through a lot of toys and yes these are name brand kind of obvious choices but i just want to kind of make this video as reassurance to yes these are good toys if you find them um and your dogs like them like you don't need to be searching for all these different things um, which we, we've done. We've kind of <laughs> picked any brand there has been. And I'd like to give more examples, but most of the ones that aren't very good, we just throw them away because, yeah, it's not good for the dogs. Um, so, yeah, like I said, put any suggestions in the comments or any questions um, if you've got them about the different toys that Piper and Rooney likes. Um, and, yeah, I, uh, I plan to make quite a few more videos on the, uh, on topics like these about my dogs. So if you enjoy videos like this, make sure you subscribe and like the video. And, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.